What is up, guys? It's from C, and I'm here today with a pod. Well, my podcast on Common Source. Today's topic is missing WWE superstars, and I have a guest today. Um, I've wanted this guy on my podcast for a very long time. Uh, today's episode, well, I believe six. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But I've wanted this guy on my podcast for a long time, and I finally got him on here. Um, let me welcome Skate Mick Simpson, aka Dallas. So, <laughs> what's up, Dallas? Hey, what's up? What's up? Um, so have you been watching wrestling lately? Um, not, not like recently. I'll say like I watched it like a month ago. Month ago. I've been keeping up on the news on YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, wrestling's been pretty okay today. We just uh recently heard that Sting is up uh inducted to the Hall of Fame. So congratulations to him. And uh yeah, so so you don't know you don't really know what's going on. Nah, not like that. Well, um recently we've uh well we're gonna talk about the missing WWE superstars. Um well we're gonna talk about missing WWE superstars and we're gonna talk about WWE two K sixteen and the patch that just came out today and we're gonna just talk about Raw and how we're gonna think it's gonna turn out. So let's start off with the missing WWE superstars. Um on this list we have Seth Rollins, Cesaro John Cena, um, I'm trying to think of some more shows. Sting, we have um, uh, Tyson Kidd, um, yeah, Tyson Kidd, he's out, he's been out for a while. Um, we got uh, we got a couple more. Oh, we got Sin Cara because he just messed his shoulder up, and um, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know it's terrible. Um, what else? We have like a lot more superstars out. Um, but how do you feel about these superstars being not be able to compete at WrestleMania? I mean, like with, with Tyson Kidd and like Silver Zoro, like that that was my favorite tag team. Like while I was watching WWE, you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of sad. And I mean, with Sankara, I mean, I I always expect Sankara to get mm-hmm. injured because he's like a spot monkey, man. Like mm-hmm. he's gonna get injured. Like that's just normal. That's natural. But It's, it's a really big loss because uh, Seth Rollins was the the top guy in the WWE when he was here. Um, he's been gone for at least two or three months. We did see him during the Slammy Awards, so we was kind of happy to see him then. But um, yeah, do you think when he comes back, he's gonna get back the title? Of course. I mean, you can't really do stuff like that. You, you just. <clears throat> Yeah, um, I I feel as if he yeah, he should get the um title back, but we got to think about because Brock Lesnar um if you haven't heard Brock Lesnar is returning tonight on Raw, and he possibly will be in the Royal Rumble match, so we might have to see we might see Seth Rollins versus Brock again. Well, we did see a glimpse of it at WrestleMania with Seth Cash in the Money in the Bank on Roman and um, Brock, but um. Um, it was it was good by the factor that Brock was beating Roman. Um, we you know as we knew we knew that you know everybody knew that Roman was gonna win at the time, but I guess they changed it overnight to uh make it um uh, where Seth Rollins cashed in, and I think that was the best move that uh WWE has done in a long time. Yeah, that was, it was pretty surprising. I, I, re- I kind of wasn't expecting it, but I kind of was. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was it was a pretty great moment, and I think um, yeah, um, the direction as WWE has been lately has been kind of crazy. Um, if you haven't noticed, um, so you said you haven't catched up on uh, Raw in like a month, right? Yeah. 
So I'm gonna get kept. I'm gonna recap you. Um, Mr. McMahon has came on Raw and he has like uh put Roman Reigns through a lot of obstacles. Um, the first ob obstacle I believe was um just coming because I think uh I believe Steph did something and then Roman uh I guess I've, I I kind of forgot but you know Roman has attacked. Mr. Man about three times. Um, the last time he attacked him was last week when uh, Mr. McMahon was uh, the special guest referee for Roman Reigns' match. Um, uh, yeah, uh, he 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 almost he almost screwed Roman over, but Roman um, Roman made it, and um, now Roman is gonna be defending his title inside the Royal Rumble match, not just a match at the Royal Rumble pay per view. It's the Royal Rumble match. Now, how do you feel about him defending his title in the Royal Rumble? a lot of rumors speculating that the Bullet Club is going to interfere, like the Bullet Club is going to make their debut appearance um, at the Royal Rumble, and they think that number 30 might be Triple H, and they think Triple H might take the title, or Triple H might work with the Bullet Club to get rid of Roman Reigns as the champion. Um, it was it was rumored that, that you know, they would, they would turn up because they said... Um, it might not. It would be a letdown if Roman does win at the Royal Rumble the second time because we saw what happened to him, and we saw what happened to Batista the year before. You know, because when Batista got eliminated, they wanted when when Batista eliminated Roman, they wanted Roman at the time, but you know he wasn't ready, and he wasn't ready when he won the year after. Um, but you know, I I do think Triple H might come back at the Royal Rumble to defeats you know Roman Reigns and take the title away from him because I don't really see Roman Reigns with the title um you know in the world like coming out of the Royal Rumble uh, match because it just be crazy um what what um do you think like we'll see a possible Daniel Bryan return <laughs> I honestly think they're gonna wait till like um after Raw, after Raw, after WrestleMania, like the WrestleMania, you know, uh, you know, after WrestleMania Raw. So I think they might make him return after that, cause it'd be kind of crazy to make him return um at um the Royal Rumble and not have him win, because it was kind of a letdown uh, last year's Royal Rumble when he did make his uh, debut in the Royal Rumble and lose, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the way the way he got eliminated made it seem like he wasn't supposed to get eliminated. But you know, um, we could talk about the Royal Rumble like we could talk about the Royal Rumble um some other time when we do predictions. Um, when we do prediction next week for the Royal Rumble, um, but let's talk more about these mission superstars. Um, so like I said, we got John out, Seth out, uh, Cesaro out, Tyson Kidd. We got uh Daniel Bryan. We got uh Sankara. And we got a couple. We got a lot more. Um, we got Brock is out before right now until he comes back tonight. And we got um, we got a couple more superstars. You know, we have a lot of missing superstars from WWE, especially one guy that had li that did leave two years ago was CM Punk. How would you think the WWE would be right now if CM Punk would have stayed? It was, it was, it was, 
it was okay. I mean, it was it was horrible because you know it was a downfall for him, but it was kind of a let up for like The Rock, you know, when he took the title. But I don't think really people wanted to see The Rock versus John Cena again. But you know, you know, I, I feel as if CM Punk w was here, he would be contributing. I think a little bit better because without him, without Daniel Bryan, without all like all the top superstars, you know, you know, it's kind of it's kind of a letdown. But uh, let's come back to the question. You said John Cena, you're happy that he's not here. Um, why is that? Why do you are you happy that John Cena is injured and not competing at WrestleMania? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Cause I feel as if John Cena was still here, he would be fighting about to the real, possibly at WrestleMania to win the United States Championship that when nobody wants to see because. John, John Cena versus Alberto De Rio is like a 2011 all over again, which no money, which <laughs> nobody really wants to see, and you know I'm I'm kind of upset, a little bit upset because he's gone because he usually when he fights for the when he usually has a U.S. championship he usually gives a lot of the NXT superstars a chance like he gave Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Neville, a lot of those top superstars that was from NXT a chance. Um, it's it was a big letdown because WWE had to re rethink everything they planned for him for the whole year because I guarantee you they had a lot of plan for him. Um, do you see do you see any of these injured superstars coming back before WrestleMania? Um, I, 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 I can't really, I can't really say because everybody's really hurt. Um, I can think, I can honestly, um, maybe I can say maybe either Stank or Tyson. What about them? Yeah, what th what they were thinking is because since WrestleMania is in Texas, both for Sting and Undertaker's hometown, they were planning to have the match where Sting and Undertaker fight at that WrestleMania together, and then it'd be a retirement match. But it's highly unlikely because Sting has a um a neck injury, which he he got at Night of Champions against Seth Rollins um, last year, where Seth Rollins I think threw him on a turnbuckle with his um move. Which I he couldn't I don't think Sting could really take it because he's 50 years old so you know imagine Sting trying to take a bump at 50, um, but it it, it did kind of look like it did hurt him, um, so you know maybe uh, I really did want to see Sting versus Undertaker at WrestleMania, I just it just man it's just it's terrible that this happened because you know that would have been a good match I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't have cared if it was a terrible match I just wanted I just want them to retire. At, at WrestleMania, you know, together, you know, I don't want them to wait a whole nother year, cause it's just they're in their hometown and they're, you know, you know, fighting. So I think that's, you know, it's best for them, you know, to do it in the hometown. I mean, maybe you'll come back, but they were gonna have John Cena versus Undertaker, which I thought I didn't want to see it, but you know, <laughs> I don't. I really don't understand why everybody wants to see that match. Um, I really don't, but you know, people have their opinions, you know. And let's uh we've been talking about a lot of Mr. Superstars and we can tell that most of none of them are gonna come back. Um Cesaro is um Cesaro is more likely to come back at the at the Royal Rumble. He's been gone for a little bit. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he'll come back. Yeah. I mean Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
<clears throat> yeah, you know, I, I I can see them coming back, but you know, if they do come back, they probably have to fight like the Dudley Boys or you know the New Day, which I can mind seeing it. But I would rather see Tyson Kidd and Cesaro fight like Sin Cara or Kalisto, because you know if you watch the um, was it the money? Not the Money in the Bank, but it was a ladder match for the tag team titles. It was at the last, I believe it was the last pay per view, and you know Kalisto jumped off. Uh, Kalisto jumped off the top of the ladder with uh, with the yeah, with the Usos, and you know I thought that was really cool. You know Kalisto can put on some great matches. I mean he even made Ryback look like a, a like a genius one time on SmackDown when it was in a tournament for like the Intercontinental was it Intercontinental? I think like it was Intercontinental United States, but you know I like Kalisto. You know it sucks in cars gonna be out, but maybe he can like get better. Um. But yeah, I guess that's you know we're we're done talking about the missing WWE superstars because you know there's not that many more missing. Well, there's a lot of missing superstars. Um, uh, we could talk about Sting inducted into the Hall of Fame. How do you feel about Sting being inducted to the Hall of Fame? I mean, you know, I, I feel like he deserves it. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, he left for a little bit. You know, everybody's kind of a little salty about that. Eh, whatever, man. I, but in my opinion, I think he deserves it. He came back. He got the pop they needed and all that crap, and he got a couple matches in, so I think he should be a duck. I think he's done a lot for the he's done a lot for the business. So even if he never came back, even when he should have been inducted a long time ago, mm -hmm. that doesn't matter because he's inducted. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, you know, I'm happy he's inducted to the Hall of Fame. I I feel like he deserved it. Um. But yeah, that's I guess that's about it. Um, I think Undertaker will be inducted pretty soon, so they might go in together. Maybe, maybe they'll have like a a, a speech talking about how they were gonna fight at WrestleMania and something like that. Um, but let's get into uh WWE 2K16. If if you haven't checked uh YouTube lately, um, this morning, they patched. They came out with a patch 1.0. Um, it was a 0 0.4 for um new entrances for the game. They uh have a new uh, Kevin Owens entrance, Finn Balor entrance, a new title entrance for Kevin Owens, and a new um, title entrance for Dolph Ziggler. Um, do you have you played WWE 2K16 yet? A little bit, a little bit. You know, like about five times, maybe six times. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to really get the peak PS4 going. It's a couple situations, you know. But the entrance, actually, I've seen. Um, I've just seen like pictures of it. But, I mean, the Dolph Ziggler entrance looks pretty lit. I got it, like, from the pictures, it looks pretty clean. Oh. I don't know about the Kevin Owens one. It, from the pictures, it looks kind of like, kind of a little bit, like, hmm, uh, you know, it's kind of all that, but it's, I don't think it's nothing really special, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I play every scene. As you know, I'm, I do my career on, um, my channel. I played it, and, um, this is... Well, it's the second time I've played my career because as you know the first my career got deleted from somehow I can't explain why but I've started to re I've started a new my career and I'm almost heading to the NXT arrival with Finn Balor to um play uh to for the title and I'm really excited about that because you know I, you know my last my career after I won the title I went straight to SmackDown which I regret because I, I feel like I should have stayed on NXT a little longer. And I'm planning to do... Actually, I'm planning to stay on NXT longer now. To uh, boost my rankings before I go to the main roster. And I think I might go for Intercontinental Championship. Or maybe I'll have a tag team match with somebody. I'm not for sure. But, you know, I love playing w 2 k 16 You know, it's, it's the bigger foundation this year. And, you know, they have produced a lot of um the good things with the game this year. And um I'm pretty happy with it. Um It was way better than... 15 because 15 was like you know it wasn't a fully made game because you had um a lot of stuff missing in it you know dirty 2k 16 basically what 15 should have been you know so you know yeah mm -hmm. so um I mean I don't you know Yeah, yeah, you know, it's. I think it's a lot better this year having a reversal, uh, reversal stocks because it's no more a cheese online, you know. Yeah, you're right. That, that 
Yeah, I I hated I hated playing back in the day. You just reverse and reverse and reverse, you know. But yeah, it was it was it was really aggravating. Like you, sometimes you just get to a reversal that you just step out of real quick. Like you you need to chill, fam. <laughs> Yeah, they stopped the cheese for that because, you know, that, you know, as I played Dirty 13 and 14, you know, I always played online because I loved it. And, um, you know, I hated reversals. Reversals was terrible, you know, but I'm glad they fixed it, you know, because, like, you just keep, you could use, you used to can just keep reversing, but now they have it. Well, you don't. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good they don't have that. Um, but online is way better this year. It's very organized and you can just see what you're doing, you know. Everything is set perfectly. Um, there's really nothing wrong with the game besides universe mode is a little same. But you know, do you do, have you tried the breakout system yet? Yeah, I mean, um, <coughs> I gotta tell you that 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 so this system also got me a little bit. Mm -hmm. How about um, um, yeah. how about uh the breakout entrance thing? How do you do you like that? Ah, uh, no, I haven't seen that. Like, what what is that? Breakout is like when somebody's in doing their entrance, you come out and attack them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that actually. I don't really use that, you know. <laughs> I'm the type of guy just like look at the entrances, like look at the entrance a lot of times. I don't really like turn off entrances or anything uh -huh. like that. Yeah, I mean, I like like if I'm trying to like go straight into the match, like I'll I'll come out like only entrance that I really I really hate and I really think they should have fixed it in this patch was Roman Reigns entrance. It was really off and it didn't make it didn't look right. Um, I really think they should really change it. Um, and but you can't really break out his entrance. You know, you can't really go in the crowd and break out. You just have to wait for him to come in the ring, which I thought was really stupid, but. You know, I think they should really fix the whole entrance for that, you know. Yeah, um, so is there anything else you want to discuss um, about wrestling that you have missed? Do you think Raw is going to be good tonight? Are you going to watch it? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to try to get back into wrestling. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, I mean, I don't know, last time I watched Raw, it was, it was pretty horrible, you know. <laughs> yeah, the ratings like, have been going down. It's getting there. It's getting there. You know. It's getting there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> TNA. Oh man, I haven't. I haven't watched it, but I heard it's, it's doing good. You know, they. I don't know if they have a channel with Spike Lee anymore. I don't know where they're at. I think. I don't know where they're at. You know. Yeah, they lost, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't watch TNA, but everybody says it has a good product over there. So I'm, I'm gonna trust them. What people say. And um, I haven't, I don't, I haven't, I've watched TNA a couple of times in my life. Last time, last time I really seriously watched it is when Hulk Hogan and Sting was there. Um, but you know, I didn't really knew, know too much of people. I used to play the game on the Wii. Um, but yeah, I don't, I didn't know too much of people. You know, uh, yeah. Um, so I think Raw, you know, you know, Brock Lesnar's coming back tonight. Um, how do you think that's gonna turn out? Uh huh. Brock Lesnar is just—he's like—he is—he's another big player, another big card to pull out. You know what I'm saying? In the WWE inventory. So mm -hmm. Brock Lesnar, like every time he comes, man, I'm hyped, bro. I—he gets the pop from me, all he wants. Like <laughs> I'm hyped up every time he comes back, man. Like yeah, that guy's okay. a freaking beast. Very. So I'm excited. I'm I'm pretty excited, you know. I haven't seen Brock Lesnar since what? Um, in a while. I mean, I forgot when last time I seen Brock. It's been it's been a minute, you know. I think last time I seen him, he fought like Big Show and um uh, that uh that uh, live pay per view, whatever. 
Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. On the, on the hand. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> we're gonna take. Right there. We're gonna take a minute, guys, and then we're gonna come back back. Yeah. Hello. Alrighty, man. Sorry for that interruption. Oh. Uh, all right, you um, you back? Yeah, I'm, I'm good now. I'm good. I'm back. Um, but yeah, we, you know, I guess we just took a little minute break. I just saved us a break. Um, but uh, is there anything else you want to discuss? Um, are you excited about the Bullet Club returning? I mean, not returning, but coming to the WWE? You know, uh, I'm kind of I'm skeptical about it because I'm, I would I would love for them to go to NXT, and, I, and honestly, I really don't want them to go straight to the main roster. I don't want that. I mean, it it would. It would help with the Roman Reigns storyline. Um, um, how do you feel about AJ Styles coming? He hasn't been in. The, he's well, like uh, we talk. If you ever heard, if you ever listen to Vintage Shields on Smack Talk, they did explain that uh, AJ Styles was in the WWE at one point ten years ago, around the time you know John Cena came. Uh, how would you feel if it was jo if it was AJ Styles taking Kurt Angle's um, offer instead of John Cena? How do you think that would change the WWE? <laughs> that would that would be a drastic change, man. It's been the past year, like it's been some remarkable crap going on. Like I wasn't, I've never, ever. If you ask me, oh hey, is Kevin Owens slash Kevin Steen is Kevin Steen gonna come to tell you you think he's gonna come? I'm like, no, he's gonna stay the Indies, but. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're they're taking they're taking the ball like it's been so many and it'd be so many superstars that's been injured lately that they have really no choice but to bring up people that they usually don't bring up. That's how I feel. A lot of people from NXT are gonna be brought up. Um, we might see a Finn Balor or a Samoan Joe come up just because. Oh, actually, I take that back. I don't think Samoa Joe is gonna come up. I think Baron Corbin should because he's been in NXT for a very long time and he does kind of deserve to be up there. Um. But yeah, I think yeah, I really do think they're gonna um, bring them up, you know, because they need to bring up some superstars. Because I don't know how uh, WrestleMania is gonna be because it's not gonna be a good match card. Because only thing we're gonna have, we can probably see Nikki Bella coming back. Um, we're gonna have a Divas, yeah, we're gonna have a Divas Championship match. Um, we're gonna have Roman's match and maybe Undertaker. I'm not for sure what he's doing. Maybe Kane. And we got the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We usually have every year. Hmm? They still do that? Like, yeah. I thought that was just like an idea in the scrapbook. I mean, <laughs> they've they've had it for two years in a row now. Uh, the first runner was Cesaro, and the second winner was The Big Show. Why The Big Show? What? Why? I mean, I can understand that because Big Show and Andre are the same size this kind of thing. Um, it was we were close to seeing Damien. Uh, was it Damien Mizdow? Well, he was Mizdow, but he's Sandow now. But Damien, uh, San <laughs> Damien Sandow was close to winning. So you know, we we thought was, that was gonna happen, but you know, it didn't happen. So you know, we we had um. Like Damien, Damien's gimmick was just so. That, that, that gimmick was just so horrible. The whole entire storyline was horrible. Like, yeah, I mean, I just, it it got him over by the crowd. So you know, I was happy with that part. <laughs> well, he just he made the looks, but he like he made the Miz better than the Miz was. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I really do think they really need to repackage um a lot of superstars. Like, I believe they need to repackage Adam Rose. They need to repackage Curtis Axel and Damian Sandow. Um, they need to repackage Bo Dallas. They they really damn so need to package Adam Adam Rose. He's been going on a terrible tear lately. They just need to repackage the dude. They need to repackage Curtis Axel because Curtis Axel was really good. Um, I liked him when he was with Paul Heyman. Um, that was a good storyline that, that they had. Amazing. Paul Heyman can make anybody look good. Well, he didn't make Ryback look good, so we're just going to count that off. <laughs> I mean, Ryback was just terrible on his own. I, I didn't think that he needed Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, you know, 
he's 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 really he's really I feel I feel like he's really good when it comes to like CM Punk and you know Brock Lesnar. If CM Punk ever comes back to the WWE, I think he will have Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman on his side. Maybe maybe Brock Lesnar on his side with him because I remember clearly before since CM Punk left, he did have a feud with Brock Lesnar where uh, Paul Heyman did uh, turn on him, you know, which led to that controversy with Brock and him, you know. But uh, so is there any more things you want to discuss? Is there? Do you want to give a shout out to your channel, your um, anything? Um, wait, okay, okay, hold on. Let's 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 take some let's take three steps back to that Adam Rose impact. <laughs> yeah. um, All right. right. This is where I think where Adam Rose is at. Basically, he's at the Santino Morello level, all right? Very, very. And that's just straight jobber, you know, bring a new superstar in. He could chomp Adam Rose up, you know, fan type level. Yeah. I don't think Adam Rose can get a bounce back. Oh, that's just, just some really good storage uh, in the back, you know what I'm Unless like, they bring him back as Leo Kruger, which I thought was the best gimmick that he had on NXT, and it was a letdown that they got rid of it. Um, they said because if he doesn't get a, get rid of Leo Kruger, then he would be uh, released. Um, same with Tyler Breeze. Um, Tyler Breeze had a different gimmick before. He did his um, you know, little selfie gimmick. He had a different yeah, gimmick. That was good. That was good. I mean, but you know, he had, a lot of people have to change because of the way the WWE is going in their direction. Um, I feel as if they would have kept Adam Rose's Leo Kruger. He he would be you know the type of person that can go for a main title. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we. God, I can still, I can. He was a freaking beast, yeah. I mean, that, I could. That, like that gimmick made him look freaking beast. Having <laughs> three, you know. Yeah. He can definitely go for a title that, with that gimmick. Yeah, I feel as if he could have went with that. Um, same with a lot of superstars. Um, I feel as if our truth. I still, I still think our truth. He could be like main title material because he's funny, but at the same time he can get serious and he has like a great move set. I still think you know, our truth can get a title. I still think a lot of superstars can get titles, but they're just not put put the the way they are because of Mr. McMahon and the company. Because you know, NXT is the best wrestling that you can get if it comes to WWE. And, you know, the main roster is kind of like I feel as if when Mr. McMahon retires. Or if something happens to him, not saying I want something to happen to him, but if something does happen to him, I think Triple H will take over, and um, we could. We, if, if Triple H takes over, I promise you, like WWE would be a lot better. I think you know Triple H, the decisions he make are uh, run by Mr. Man, and Mr. Man probably thinks that you know he doesn't like the certain way that Triple H thinks, and he doesn't want it that way. But I'm surprised Mr. Man doesn't realize because NXT is such a successful like su successful show, and I don't. I just surprised Mr. Man doesn't realize that. You know, I think Vince is just a one-minded man. Like he's one-sided. You know, he he the way he thinks is the way he wants it. You know, and I I really don't think that he can. Yeah, he's very no. he's very old school. Yeah, very Jesus. Oh man, like it's like just I, I honestly think he just stepped down. Let Triple H take care of it. Let WWE be booing again. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if 2011, that, that was a pretty good year for wrestling. It, it, TNA, WWE, and just wrestling in general. I mean, that was a pretty good year. Right. It, but it, like, it was. 2015 and 2016, just like. Uh, yeah, it was it was a good it was a good year for WWE, and you know I I feel as if you know Mr. Man should really step down as a CEO, whatever the main guy for the company, and just let Triple H run it. I mean I don't I'm not no disrespect towards Mr. Man, but the things he's do is not give it's not making money for WWE at all. It's not putting uh, checks in people's books and roofs over people's head and and food on the table. You know honestly I don't think so. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I just think he just stepped down. You know, Stephanie. I mean, I don't even know what Stephanie can do. You know, like just, just, just look nice. Yes, I mean, you you can go into you can try to make Divas Division better, but I'm telling you, that's gonna be some hard work. Yeah, that division right there is. It's I mean, been trashed, but like, yeah, cause like, cause now they have just a feud with Charlotte and Becky on main roster, which isn't bad. But I think they should do more better. I I want to see more of Sasha Banks, and more of uh you know 
some other people like Sasha Banks maybe and they really need they really honestly need to bring up Bailey. I can't wait to see her up there. You know, Bailey is like awesome. Bailey versus Sasha was one of the amazingest matches I've ever seen. Um, if you ever watch NXT Take Takeover in NXT New York, that they were in New York. Um, they had some great matches. You know, I I think I, I love NXT. You know, I watch it from time to time, and um, I don't watch it a lot, but when I do, I I, I enjoy it. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, is there anything you wanna you know say before we head out? I'm, I, I'm good. I'm good. Um, do you have anything you want? You got? You want to shout out your YouTube channel? Nah, nah, nah. I'm not. I'm not really prepared for that yet. You know, I'm not really posting any content just yet. But when it does come out, I'll be sure to give a shout out. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for so much for coming on my podcast. This has been the first that I've had with people on there, and I um, are you are you still gonna watch Raw, Raw tonight? Oh yeah, I'm watching. Um, and I guess I will see you on, the, um, the next podcast, which is going to be next week when we do predictions for the Royal Rumble, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you, uh, uh, give me a comment what you think about the, uh, episode. Did you disagree or did you agree about the things that we showed? Um, but yeah, Ishim C is out. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your week.